Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad and today I am going to show you what fish food I use to feed my fish. So it's just my opinion and uh, this works for me so you may have some better ideas and feel free in the comments to share that with me but this works for me so I'm going to share it with you. First I'm going to talk you through the foods and then I'm going to show you feeding two or three tanks depending on time. So let's go and do this guys. So, I'm just going to show you what pellets or granules, whichever one it is, that I feed to my fish and why I feed these foods to my fish. Um, because I do predominantly, and I've said it before in other videos, use pellets. I do add a little bit of frozen food, so I don't feed, feed that a lot. If I can get all the black worm, live black worm, I do feed that as a treat as well. Um, but I predominantly feed, I don't touch prawns, I don't touch mussels. I have fed the odd bit of cod, but I predominantly feed pellets. So, because I predominantly feed pellets, I need to make sure I'm feeding the right ones. So, from a spread, spread diet point of view, so my staple food is this Norfin. So, this Norfin is a brilliant, brilliant like spread ingredient for food. And, you know, on the back there, you can see it. You know, you just take a look at that, that ingredients, old Antarctic krill, omega, sardine meal, wheat flour, which is, needs to be in all these foods. But then if you look at this, you've got kelp, spirulina, garlic, asanthathin, if, if I said that right, guys. Um, but the spread in this food is amazing. So that is a staple food for most of my fish. It's a free meal pellet, so most of the fish can eat it. Obviously the fry, the, the, the dovey, small dovey can't eat that, um, but everything else in the fish room eats that food. And that's the spread. So we talk about the fish getting greens, guys, the spirulina and the kelp in there helps with that. I also feed another Norfin food, which is this, which is their krill, their krill meal. So. This is basically just high in percentage of krill, and this is good for um, like the carotenoids. It's got carotenoids in it, which is good for like bringing out the the reds and the you know the whites and that kind of stuff in your fish. So that's not something I would feed every day. I would just feed that. So the trimac. So I would give that to the trimac. The trimac, the red devil. The red devil will only eat that. If I don't give him the Akari, so he will sulk and if I don't feed Akari to the Red Devil, he does sulks, but he will sometimes eat that. Now, I'm putting a little Midas in with him, because the Midas is eating it, he wants to eat it, so he gets a bit of that as well. Then we've got the Akari range, so again, this is what Jagger the Red Devil eats, he loves that, he loves the sinking one. So, basically, I got the sinking one. So I can feed the Trimac some of it and because the Trimac will only eat sinking food. If I put floating food in there, he doesn't tend to want it. So I got that as well. And I obviously wanted to try and get Jagger going for the sinking food as well, which then would help Jagger to eat this. This is what I'm thinking anyway, guys. So then I've got the algae wafers. So I've got quite a few plecos. I know I don't feature my plecos a lot, but I have got, I think I've got eight eight to ten plecos, I think it's somewhere around that number. So I tend to throw some of these in at night. Like I said, I've got the spirulina and I've got the kelp wafers in that, but I do throw some of these in in the day as well. And the, the trimac will eat them, the curcumin will eat them, uh, even um, the red devil eats them, to be honest with you. The little dove eyes and the, jag, the jags, they, they nibble on them as well. So yeah, that's the Akari range. And then I've got this little mix. This is one of Graham's tubs, Aquarium Adventures. And in this mix, let me see if I can get the lid off. Let me pop you on pause a minute, guys. So in this mix, this is a very, very, very fine granule. And it's made up of Tetra Prima, Fluval Bug Bites, and NTL Labs Cichlid 33 Green. So it's a very good mix. Dovi's getting that. Predominantly that's the dove I feed, the jags are getting it, I even throw it in for the plecos at night and I also feed it to the rainbow cichlids as well. So yeah, and then you've got this, the Vitalis 
Vitalis um, cyclic pellets, which what's great about this is it's it's soft. So it's soft. What I've got to do this one under guys. So what you've got to look at is this. So you, what you can do is you can actually squeeze it together. So again, I'll throw some at night for the plecos. And the rainbow cichlids love that. And the little dovi and the jags love it as well. But yeah, that's what I'm saying guys. So you have to have a spread in my, this is only in my opinion. This is work, this works for me. And this is what I've done for a hell of a long time. But it costs me a little bit. I always pay a bit extra for these foods. But like I said to you guys, I need, because I'm predominantly a pellet and a, like a granule feeder, I need to make sure I'm giving the fish what they need. And I believe, in my opinion, like I've said, you know, somebody feel free to tell me if you think you've got a different idea when it comes to pellets. But for me, predominantly, the Northin cichlid is the, is the main food. And then the algae, obviously, for plecos. But then the plecos, some of the plecos I have need to eat meat. So everything's there. The grow outs with the spread of this mix here. It just works, it just works for me guys and I wouldn't recommend anything else. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do now is we'll go around the fish room and we'll feed some of the tanks and I'll show you them eating the foods that I've said basically guys. So let's go and feed the fish. So guys, one of the foods that I forgot to show you then, because it was in the, the living room, I fed the jags on it last night, was the Akari Vibra Bites. Again, it's, this is like a, wor like a miniature worm type pellet, another great fish, protein, a lot of high protein in this protein, sorry. So again, it's good for growth. Um, so yeah, another one that I use, especially for the grow outs and stuff like that. So yeah, I just forgot to show you that one, guys. So we're at the Red Devil Tank. There is Jagger, and there is the little female Midas. She's absolutely sussing, sussing this system out. She's got a pipe there. She can get under that place in there. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed some Akari floating pellets, particularly gold. And he loves them. Like I said, I mean, I, I do believe that the colour of this fish is down to these pellets. But what we'll also do, guys, is obviously because because they're too big, and he will, she will get the bits. What we'll do is we'll put some vibra bites in for her. So we've dropped some vibra bites in there, and as they get lower, she'll come out for them. She is quite cocky at times because, like I said, she is slut. There she comes. She's loving the vibra bites. And again, she'll get a mixture of the other foods, like I said. Actually threw some sinking cichlid gold in the other day. Um, and she went off with a big massive pellet in. And he just thought oh, I've spooked him then. He's just finishing off his Ikari. But yeah, that's how I feed that tank, guys. So what we'll do is we'll now go and feed another tank. Okay, so we're at the Dovi tank. Obviously these are only frying, looking, they're all looking at me, they all want some food. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a little bit of that mix that I said. Look at them all coming up here. They know it's coming. And this is just a bit of that mix that I talked about. Uh, the Tetra Prima, the Pluvial Bug Bites and the, the Cichlid 33 by NC Labs. Which is a green, sorry, Cichlid Green 33. And they'll just chomp on that and anything that drops to the bottom, the little BM will get. But well, yeah, that's something that I predominantly feed these. This is their staple because it's a good spread, why not? And then these will get some black worm, a bit of frozen food as well. Um, and yeah, so like I said, all different foods for different fish, guys. So we're good. we'll do one more tank and then we'll wrap the video up, guys. Okay, so we'll now feed the gold jags. And these jags are getting bigger and bigger all the time. So what I'm going to use this time is I'm going to use the Vitalis pellets because so I put some of them in there a bit more in there because as well we've got these plecos in there as well so there's about four plecos in there and this horrible little convict that I need to catch and get out because he's been an asshole um well yeah there you go the female again the big female imprinting her aggression on them all well yeah so that's the Vitalis one these get a mixture as well but yeah they seem to like that as well guys so that's the food i'm not going to do any more because this video's gone on long enough and we're going to go and wrap this up now guys okay guys so 
that is the fish foods that I feed the fish. Um, like I've said before, it's my opinion and I stick with it because it works for me. It may not work for you. You might know something better. And like I said in the video, leave that in the comments. Any advice is always welcome, but this works for me and it has worked for me a long time. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a day there and I will see you on the next video.